highlights channel of the Ranveer show. This is TRS Clips. Have you seen any of our beer biceps memes? I actually do. Um, in fact, uh, I think all every week I probably have four different people who send me a beer biceps video, going like, "What is this?" And I'm like, "Why are you asking me?" I'm this, this happens to all my friends and family. Like, like I, I don't, I don't know. I think people on the internet they take things way too seriously. Like, just calm down. Like, I, what do you mean people take things too seriously? I don't know. It's a lot of like, how can you say like this? And it's ah. just. ट ऑल because the opposite of love is not hate the opposite of love is indifference yeah. so <laughs> when you're memed it's that you're still in you're still relevant well, okay i think it's important to be relevant in meme culture if you're going mainstream and the people who have to actually find the depth will go to that podcast anyway and find the depth yeah but like okay but you won't get like a so there's like there will be a certain audience that doesn't know you that doesn't know your work but all they know of you are these like memes that's okay Because But, <laughs> see, okay, my counter to that is we have such a big variety of podcasts that there's something for everyone. So if someone gets to know me through the memes, that's okay because at some point they will come across my YouTube channel and then scan it. So it's a very 2023 way of looking at it. Okay. And I don't think like I'm also saying this as a digital professional. Okay. I think it's very important to be a part of meme culture. Uh, it's just how I look at it. No, I get it because I feel like nothing can go as viral as a meme, and you will reach a lot more people. I just feel like, considering that your podcast is like really serious uh, and it has like a lot of things of value to give the world, it <laughs> feels a little sad sometimes that people like judge it based on whatever okay. like ten second meme they see. You know? It's fine. Okay, uh, let's, let's see the next one. Yeah. जब लोगों को दुख होता ना आजकल तब राजपाल यादव मीम टाइप करते हैं सर्च बार पे ऐसे करते हो कि राजपाल यादव मीम या राजपाल यादव कॉमेडी सीन्स नहीं ऐसे सब दोस्त वगैरह और सब आपके सामने वो वो दिखा देते हैं आपको शर्म फील होती है ये सब करते हैं I asked him, आपको शर्म फील होती है जब मैं आपको आपके ही क्लिप्स दिखा रहा हूँ वियर टू शो समन देर ओन शेट सो आई थिंक वॉज द होल पॉडकास्ट कॉन्टेक्ट कम and you have to just be ready for it but doesn't it bother you that like people take things out of context and then kind of use that as an excuse to like you know box you into something it would have bothered me if i hadn't released work that i'm proud of but like internally i'm very proud of like the library of work <laughs> i've done okay so okay that's the honest truth and this isn't like a strong facade do you feel i'm giving a strong facade Not really. I feel like maybe on some level, I I don't know. Like ever since you were a kid, a lot of people have told you, "Hey, Ranveer, you're mad. Yeah. What are you doing? Like what are you doing? But you've like just done it. So maybe it's just like your personality only. Huh? I I think it's important to be made fun of when you're a kid, if you intend on being famous in life. I guess, but uh, you were by all like. All metrics, a fairly popular kid, and not <laughs> really. I don't know that a lot of people were necessarily making fun of you. It was just more like, "What the f is this decision making, dude?" <laughs> like that was what it was. <laughs> I look at meme culture as an, as an extension of my teenage. Like, okay. as in, this is kind of. Ha, so that's of, how you know. Do you know what he said? Do you know what he did? 
great <laughs> bring me the brand money <laughs> <laughs> but don't you mean like okay so for example suppose like someone just watches this video right mm. out of context uh are you ever worried that a guest would see it and go like oh i won't be treated correctly on this show no no i, I mean so I'll, the closest that this has happened is uh say we had guru randhawa come in that day and he referenced some meme that yeah i got sent that four times no no that that's a guru randhawa <laughs> meme i'm saying he himself was talking about another meme i think he was talking about the bhumi meme if oh, i'm not mistaken okay he's like i saw it ah cool like the people who come on the show are very familiar with uh the dynamics of media and fame okay. so even they kind of look at it as meme culture's mainstream culture okay. the, the the one time i did have doubts about trolls and all that was when journalists started writing a lot of like negative articles mm. and i'm going to do a name dropping flex so should i be doing a name dropping after okay. you with your show i asked uh, uh. and a certain former captain of the indian cricket team it was my biggest idol who i will choose not to name okay which i think people know okay and all three kind of told me the same thing okay they effectively said that when you hit the mainstream people will try pulling you down you have to play through your heart not your brain because your brain will then analyze it and ask yourself questions about what you're doing but the process got you so far so you shouldn't care about the negative outcomes of the process i think it also depends on what level of control issues one has you know As because in- like what you're essentially doing is that you're putting yourself out there but how people choose to take what you're putting and consume it is never in your control right like people will choose to, like it doesn't remain your thing anymore it just becomes like a whole other animal of its own i personally feel i have too many control issues <laughs> for that to ever work for me as like a life the, the way i look at content is once i have published it i forget about the piece of content be mm. it uh the fact that returns in the form means it doesn't matter to me because it's very like focus on the present focus on building a bigger future and my gauge for success or a lack of it honestly is the numbers and money because that's why i began this career hmm. and if both are just going up it means you're doing something right i guess yeah aapka apne bacche se divorce nahi hota na wo kitna tang kare aapko hota hai hmm oh nahi batao i'm asking you sorry mujhe main joke relatable everyone goes through that It's like you it looks like you weren't sure whether she was asking you a question directly or she was making a statement. She was saying some stuff that I knew would make headlines. <laughs> so my So you were like oh keep saying keep saying. Yeah, my state of mind was what else do you want to say Nina ma'am? This is very interesting. <laughs> so that's about it. Okay. I I didn't want to interrupt her flow. So mm. when she said that, I think what she said uh was the beginning of the next sentence. So I didn't want to like stop her. That was mm. just me being polite. <laughs> okay. आप दिल्ली आओगे मेरे पास जी जी 100 परसेंट बिना कैमरे के यस यस बहुत कुछ बातें करनी है देखेंगे कुछ देखेंगे ओके ठीक कुछ दिखाऊंगा क्या देखा कुछ महसूस कराऊंगा ओके ओके क्योंकि वो हर एक को नहीं करा जो कर सकता है उसी को महसूस करा सकते हैं आई अंडरस्टैंड आई अंडरस्टैंड ब्रो Do you? <laughs> Do you understand? <laughs> I'm not sure. If, I can't understand. If you read any of the comment sections, it's very sexual. <laughs> it, it sounds very sexual, <laughs> no. which is why I'm asking you. Do you understand what he was saying? I actually did. I kind of have a vibe about what he was going to show me, which mm-hmm. wasn't anything sexual. Mm-hmm. Uh, we had had some spiritual conversation off camera as well in that podcast. Huh. So. uh that's why this happened okay. but the moment he started saying that there was a part of my brain that went oh this is going to make it a meme culture <laughs> <laughs> so there is a there's a moment where i'm like just <laughs> i'm it. nodding say it, say but it. actually my internal voice is saying ah this is going to be a part of some meme <laughs> okay. which happened so anyway so ye jo bhi sapne hai kitne dur hai realistically sir aap ek baat yaad rakhna मैं सपने दिखाने वाला नहीं हूँ नहीं नहीं वो वैसे मैं नहीं कर रहा नहीं नहीं आप गलत फेमी मत करना जी तुम नहीं हिंदुस्तान का कोई पत्रकार मुझे उस उल्टा हर चीज के जवाब है और पूर्वन एग्जांपल है सर मैं पत्रकार नहीं हूँ <laughs> <नहीं। laughs> <laughs> 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 <laughs>
लोगों की सोच भी यहाँ तक नहीं पहुँचती है सन से लाइट को पहुँचने के लिए आठ मिनट लगते और लोग कहते हैं साइंटिस्ट ये मानते हैं कि यूनिवर्स में सबसे फास्ट चीज लाइट होती है अगर ये सच है देन वाई इज इट दैट अगर आप अभी सन के सरफेस के बारे में सोच रहे तो आपके थॉट्स तुरंत वहां तक पहुंच जाए मतलब आपके थॉट्स लाइट से भी ज्यादा फास्ट क्यों से एनीथिंग जस्ट वाई बिकॉज इट वॉज जस्ट अ फिलोसॉफिकल पोएटिक थिंग टू से लाइक एन आई डे बट लाइक आई डेंट एट एनी पॉइंट से दिस इज साइंस बट द थिंग इज आई नो we made a meme that kind of it it annoyed me because i think it was done in a little bad um, energy hmm. you know sometimes you just know when memes like i don't mind any of the other memes till this point huh. but this particular meme even the way it was done on twitter it was done with bad energy it was definitely done with a look at beer biceps peddling his pseudo science but i never said it science that's which someone would have to watch the video to see which again brings me back to my original question of like how come you're okay with like how people can just do whatever they want with your content because i think that when you're 50 and your whole body of work is complete people see the averaged out body of work rather than these moments this is what i've seen throughout my career yeah, cuz we had controversy in the past also hmm. so at this point i know that there's too many people who actually want to spoil the beer biceps name spoil trs name and it is somewhere coming out of a place of envy uh but you can't like help it so i i, I had got a little upset when i saw this but not upset to the point where i'm like oh, how can they say this about me upset because this is totally been taken out of context i never said that that science hmm. but you know the fact that people are doing it again it's not a uh, hate it's like i don't know in some cases i do feel like you feel it's hate a little bit in some cases i'm sure I, that I, in I, a lot I, of memes like you can actually tell when someone is just like This meaning the, for fun this uh, guru randhava meme is the only time where i felt it's been done in bad taste i do feel that too because yeah. like i i saw it and like i, I don't know i just and the thing is they also don't highlight all the med- medical podcasts we do all the astrophysics podcasts of course not no because like those don't get like first of all unfortunately our culture is fueled in a way that only negative stuff gets like mm. high clicks so like no headline that says beer biceps doing honest and great job is ever going to get a yeah, click yeah. but beer biceps pedal pseudo science like yeah. f- in 10 million you know clicks. what it doesn't change this is what people don't understand okay and this is me doing a bit of a flex i went to rooms with some very nice established people and there are often people in those rooms who have seen my stuff and don't reference pseudo science as a tag they say the depth as Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. something they watch the show for, which is the long term validation for my work because I know it's not going to appeal to everyone. That's something you learn with age that no matter what you do, all your work is not going to appeal to everyone. Yeah, but uh, whatever it is, what it is, dude, it's a part of being in media. Also, all in all, like the averaged out experience of my life is insane. Like it's an insane life. It's entourage happening in real life. Okay? Yeah, When, I know. If you told me at twelve, thirteen, fourteen that my life would be like this, I would have been like very excited. I think you would have died in that moment only, <laughs> and never like you know realize that life. So it's a good thing you didn't know. Yeah. Which is why I understand. Uh, you know the long term scheme of things that dude it's been like an insanely nice life, and at the end of your career, people are going to average out your career. They they never remember just the viral meme. from the guru randhava podcast it's yeah. too small a blip and it shows that there are people who want to paint you know dirty paint onto your pr your onto your brand image but uh, if you keep like working in the long term people will recognize your body of work which i think is happening again for the people maybe this is the engineer in me speaking but the truth is always in the numbers so i, I agree with you because yeah. like um, those numbers are, don't lie and numbers aren't biased mm. i feel like everyone operates from their very inherent biases and everyone has like something that is like bothering them which is honestly related to them only but then they project it onto you and i feel like at this point you have become a little bit of an easy target because it's just i'm out there <laughs> yeah because you're out there and you're everywhere and like yeah. obviously not everyone is happy to see other people's success plus i get to meet cricketers on the show and i realize how much more intense their version of this thing is oh i'm sure like i'm because sure because there it's your physical attributes that cricket is a religion no in india so like i'm sure that the pressure on them is like really intense it's that's something i don't think i'd have the emotional stability to deal with after getting to know them first hand mm-hmm. and how 
their personal lives are spoken about and all their professional that's, that's a whole other conversation so youtubers are not there and mm. i don't think youtubers will ever really reach that but he, okay for example my biggest idol one of my biggest media idols in the world is joe rogan okay then i say that publicly sometimes at parties people will be like yeah how can you like joe rogan etc isn't he an xyz and they just saying it based on the negative pr they've heard which in my case is negative memes isn't he dumb isn't it pseudo science mm. but then there'll always be people in the room who'll defend joe rogan so my my hope and anticipation is when your body of work is that big you make it to people's houses you make it to people's living rooms yeah and eventually the parents will only tell them that no dude maybe you know this is the other side of it which has happened in many cases like this the last one or two years my tg like my the people i'm targeting has been like our parents age age yeah. group so i like it i don't mind a few so, kids so my, hate and own me my mother found out about my last podcast with you uh because her students saw it and they were like is this your daughter <laughs> like, so like that's how she found out so yes they are very well aware my mother yeah. knows more about what you're doing uh i've had like my aunts come to me and go like oh beer biceps you know beer biceps so i listen to his podcast so like yeah, yeah. again long term scheme of things people remember the average dot body of your work so it's it's important that's why at least in my eyes it's important to as a content creator you have to put out a huge quantity of work that's just how i look at shit Like, like the biggest content creator in the country today is Carrie Manati, mm. and he is also heavily criticized for his own quirks. Mm. But that doesn't stop him from being the biggest content creator because numbers don't lie. Yeah. So in content creation, no matter who you are, you can be Carrie Manati, Tanmay, Nikhil Kamath, Prajakta Kohli. Anyone, everyone gets criticized. Mm. It's something I spoke to Manish about. in terms of he had worked with people from the startup industry from cricket a little bit from the world of acting as and what's unique about the world of content creation he's like this massive ups and massive downs this kind of like cricket only massive ups are the rewards and access and all you get don't need to talk about the influenza life mm. but he said the massive downs are he, he's not seen industries with this level of scrutiny and uh personal criticism so you need to be thoda thick skin to be a part of it Scout is one of the countries because gaming content creators. He also said the same thing mm. that if you have shame inside you, then don't be a content creator. You have to be a little shameless. I would argue that one has to be a little shameless to get through life only. Like uh, while you yeah. have a little shame, you are not going to really be able to go after every single thing that you want. And also, a lot of the times, the shame is just like societal crap that's internalized. Okay, maybe maybe I'd replace what he said with sensitivity. I think you can't be sensitive. when you're a content creator yeah. like if you if you're too sensitive to what people say then you, this you is not the you have to be thick skin basically like yeah. okay. very deeply thick skin like mm. because i've anyway like there are there are lines that people cross online often but you can't do anything because it's I, the downside I, of fame i know and like people have I don't know the internet has become very toxic recently and like Instagram especially has become very really? toxic so we should move on to the memes yeah, again yeah yeah sorry okay oh. <laughs> कम डाउन टू द सीरियस क्वेश्चंस आप फाप करते हां भाई दिन में चार बार करे हूं आज एक होटल में भी करके आया हूं यू कभी ना है कभी खड़ा ना हुआ दिस इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन लाइक सो ओके एज अ कंटेंट क्रिएटर व्हेन यू आर सीइंग समवन टॉक अबाउट यू और मिमिक यू यू ऑलवेज नो द ओरिजिन पॉइंट ऑफ इट आई एम नॉट एबल टू आर्टिकुलेट एग्जैक्टली हाउ बट इट्स नॉट फ्रॉम अ बैड प्लेस हियर इट वाज फ्रॉम अ बैड प्लेस इन दैट गुरु रंधावा मीम like you you just know sometimes based on how it's edited how someone's even acting there's nuances you pick up so with this i actually felt extremely validated <laughs> so also put in a lot of effort yeah. into this set like honestly for the first time when i saw this i was like did you loan out your set so yeah. he could do this like uh, all all that dude like the attention to detail like you see the green prop behind you look behind Look, you look I, behind I, you I then. know which is why i said that it looks exactly <laughs> like your set i was blown away that's how, if someone can pay this much attention to detail that means i've truly made it commercially yeah go ahead now was tak aisa lage ho jata hai kabhi kabhi agar koi hot dikh jaye to ya koi phone pe peko deewar mein chhed do football medu wala black ho frisbee onion rings thala chabi thala chabi 
कल तो फूलों को देख के हो गया था वो तो गोल पे नए है So he messaged me right after this saying, "Bro, you are one of the most difficult people to mimic. I don't think I'm that difficult to mimic." There, there are one or two people who have actually done it really well. Uh, I can't remember their names. So if I find it again, I'll send it to you. All in all, validating. Yeah, that's how I feel. I, right I think now. that's good. Like, um, yeah. if you feel validated by the memes, I think uh, it's definitely a very important point to like um, know that it's what keeps things relevant and it mm. actually helps a broader audience. It's. You. you know people will get pissed off when i say this and i'm not at all comparing myself to king khan i think he's not just a king he's an emperor but when people went hey mm, some way it helped culturally in his brand image. oh 100% that, so, there's a reason that he's embedded into our like social fabric right yeah. like, like he's just iconic anyone who's culturally important gets either mimic or memed or something actually that's a very good point because i think that like uh, If people hadn't maybe picked up on the kaka kaka kiran, or if he had, if this thing hadn't, <laughs> like it, for a while it becomes people making fun of you, and I think eventually it changes into the thing that makes you iconic mm. because it's that thing that is so like uniquely you that if any time you see a man doing this, you know that oh bro he's trying to be mm. Shahrukh Khan. So like it's probably also that like the life cycle of the thing changes from it just being like. mean spirited to eventually it becoming the thing that like makes you instantly recognizable so these are playlists made especially for you we've tailor made learning experiences for you the rs clips